Hello, today I have a great and easy recipe for sourdough fruit cake. This is an excellent idea for a Christmas present that you can make ahead. So, here we go! Start at least one day before. Chop 150 grams or one cup of dry figs. 175 grams or one cup of dry apricots and 175 grams or one cup of dry mangoes. You can use any dry fruits you prefer. Place all the dry fruit in a glass bowl and add 240 grams or two cups of golden raisins and 160 grams or one and a half cups of black raisins and dried cranberries. Add enough spice rum until you cover the whole bowl. You will need around two cups of rum. Cover the fruit and let the fruit soak at room temperature. The next day, grate a whole apple. You can use any apple you have at hand. Then, Add 100 grams of orange juice, which is about the juice of two oranges. Add four eggs, which is about 200 grams. Add 60 grams or a quarter of a cup of the rum where you soak the dry fruits overnight. Mix well with the paddle attachment until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Then add 100 grams of a stiff sourdough starter. To prepare this starter, I combine 25 grams of water with 25 grams of sourdough starter and 50 grams of flour. Then, I let it proof for about six to eight hours until it was ripe to use. Mix all the ingredients in your stand mixer and add 100 grams or a quarter of a cup plus three tablespoons of butter at room temperature, cut in pieces. Add the apple that you just grated. 140 grams or two third cups of brown sugar. 175 grams or 1 and 3 8 cups of flour. Add 1 tablespoon of ground cinnamon, 1 teaspoon of ground cloves and 1 teaspoon of ground ginger. Add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. The zest of 1 orange and one lemon. Add 100 grams or a cup of almonds, or you can also use any kind of nuts, and 100 grams or one cup of dark chocolate. You can omit adding the dark chocolate, but I like the flavor that this bread has with the chocolate. Mix all the ingredients well and add all the dry fruits that you soaked the day before. Mix until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Then add the dough to two 9 by 5 inch or 22 by 12 centimeter baking pans lined with parchment paper. Let the dough rest in a warm place for about four hours. After four hours, bake the fruit cakes in a preheated oven at 330 degrees Fahrenheit or 165 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes. After 90 minutes, check the doneness of the cakes. 
insert a skewer in the middle and if it comes out clean, your cakes are ready. Take the fruit cakes out of the oven and let them cool on a cooling rack for at least two hours before taking them out of the baking pans. Take the fruit cakes out of the pans. Now, soak two pieces of cheesecloth in your favorite orange flavor liquor. I am using a triple sec. The cheesecloths need to be damp, not soaking wet. So, you may need to squeeze any excess of liquor. Grab each cake tightly and cover with wax paper and foil. Transfer the cakes to a plastic bag. Write the date when you bake your cake on the plastic bag and store the cakes in the fridge for up to 8 weeks. These fruit cakes taste better if you eat them at least 2 weeks after you bake them. But if you can wait to try them, at least store them for a couple days before enjoying. If you plan on keeping your fruit cakes for a long time in the fridge, take them out of the fridge every week and refresh the cheesecloth with orange liquor and store again in the fridge so your cakes stay moist. When you are ready to eat your fruit cake, brush it with an apricot syrup that you can prepare by mixing a quarter cup of apricot preserves with a quarter cup of water over medium heat until getting the desired consistency. Brush well the fruit cakes with enough apricot syrup and decorate with some nuts and anything else you want. You can use cherries or any more dry fruits. This bread is delicious and tastes just like Christmas. I hope you enjoy it. I really hope you can try this fruit cake. This fruit cake is delicious. Please like this video and share it with your family and friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Thank you for watching.